you are watching Redicon. I am sure most of you are comfortable with lumbar spine MR reporting, but today let's make it faster, safer, and base it on a checklist. My checklist is simple, as simple as ABCD. A for alignment, B for body height, C for cord and conus, D for discs, and E for extras. It is simple to use, very relevant to clinical presentation, and allows you to give instant opinion or commentary as soon as you start looking at a scan, such as in a medical meeting, patient consultation, and academic discussions. Alignment is the first thing. Let's look at some alignment issues. The most common problem in MRI reporting will be spasm. Straightening of the lumbar lordosis, straightening of the cervical lordosis, two of the most commonly affected mobile segments of the dorsal spine. Kyphosis is another issue, exaggeration of kyphosis within thoracic spine, and occasionally post-traumatic kyphosis at the lumbosacral junction. Kyphosis can also happen in cervical spine as well with excessive strain and bending the neck while extended hours of working on the laptops and iPads. Scoliosis is sideward or lateral flexion or curve of the spine. It should be straight, but if it's curved to the left side, it is levoscoliosis. If it is curved to the right side, it is dextroscoliosis. And then there are various causes for that, some of which we will analyze in this talk. Finally, we come to spondylolisthesis, which is forward slip or anterolisthesis. But we have to differentiate it with four different entities, spondylolysis, spondylosis, spondylolisthesis, and spondylitis. So spondylosis refers to degenerative changes in the spine. Spondylolysis, as in break, is break of the posterior elements, in, in particular parts defects. Spondylolisthesis is the forward slip of the lumbar vertebrae. And spondylitis is the infection or inflammation. Let's look at the spasm. Spasm causes straightening of the lumbar spine and is a very common finding. But how do you call for it? There is a very simple way to describe the spasm. If a straight line crosses through the middle of four consecutive vertebral bodies, then I report it as a straightened spasmodic lower back as seen on the right side. While in a normal lordotic lumbar spine, such as the one on the left side, four consecutive lumbar bodies almost never follow a straight line. Kyphosis is forward flexion of the spine. It is normally not seen in the lumbar spine. However, thoracolumbar junction is a common site for kyphotic deformity or gibbous deformity due to wedge compression fracture of one of the lower thoracic or upper lumbar vertebrae. This video is presented in collaboration with Radicon Institute of Radiology. You are welcome to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for updates. For more modules in radiology CMEs, please visit our website www.radicon.org.